In today's video and episode, we are going to cover whether or not it's better for you guys right now to rent your deck or to play your deck or to let a scholar play your deck. So, this video was made possible thanks to our wonderful sponsor Unbound Nation. They are a gaming DAO, they focus on play and earn games, they're currently in Axie Infinity and Peg Axie, they're looking to expand into games like Splinterlands. So if you're looking for a scholarship or a gaming opportunity, join the link in the description below. When you look at the differences, so in this case, in this example, what I've done is with my account, the Connor Man, last season we played the deck. So it was played by a scholar or one of my subscribers actually. But basically, he played the deck for me. He did really well. I think his win rate was above 50%. So I'll go through it with you, but the Conoman's deck, which if we look at Peak Monster right here, uh, if we go to Grid, it is a 6,400 US dollar deck. It's basically my main deck and my pride and joy. I've had a lot of fun building this deck. A lot of cards are not uh, leveled. You can, If you guys ever want, you guys can just go look at the Conoman. It is my actual deck. Um, it's obviously built for Untamed, but I've Whenever I've had the chance, I've bought some beta cards. I haven't got too many leveled beta cards, unfortunately. But whenever I get the chance, I do buy some cards that I think benefit the deck. Um, which I always include in my buy and sell videos. Uh, the best things to note about the deck is the summoners. So obviously, w like water is my love. So Ulrich Stormbringer level 3, CSC Chan level 2, Bortus level 5. Water's like... The best way you can, t like, I'll show you guys a fun thing to do if you ever want to see how a deck is skewed. But also, typically, I've got Untamed Summoners. They're typically level 3, so Pyrie, Mother Kala, Wizard of the Eastwood. Uh, I never used to like Death, which is why my Death Summoner, Contessa, was only level 2. But once I fell in love with Death, I straight away bought a Rotwell at level 4. I should have bought in a Laura Shine at level 4 instead of the Rotwell, but I never knew how the Chaos Legion Summoners would work. And that's okay. Uh, I sold my Yoden, unfortunately, but I do still have a Chances the Great, a Deep Swimmer, as well as a Byzantium Kitty. So, Biz, if you're listening, I love you, cat. Uh, the way you can tell how this deck is built is obviously... Uh, ignoring the fact that you can look at the different cards and you can see I've got like two beta fire cards and then a shit ton of water fire cards is if you click on fire you can see that my fire is worth 600 if I click on water it's worth double <laughs> or more than double at 1500 earth is 800 life is 800 death is 900 Dragon is 1,100, and then Neutral comes in at 500. So this deck is heavily focused on water. I do love water. I've never hidden that fact. Uh, is it the best? I still think if you're going to only invest in one element, it has to be Earth. But I don't know. I love water, guys. I always have Squirtle for the win, I guess. So what we should do today is we're going to quickly calculate how much this deck earned in by playing it versus how much it's earned right now by it being rented out so at the moment what should we cover uh i'm gonna do let's do renting out first so at the moment it has not been played for the last so I, what i did is i played the first two days of season so the reason you do this is the first three days of the new season is when one rent like the rental cards are actually at their lowest so you earn the, as little as you can as a renter on the first few days of season but the main thing is that you earn the highest amount of dec when you play it so what ha what ends up happening is dec because you earn more in the season i play the first three days of the season and i'll play a hundred percent to seventy percent every day get as much dec as i can climb from silver to maybe silver one if i can get to gold three again so this deck is a you can see here it is a 111,000 cp deck so even though 
the summoners aren't level 6 or aren't level 4 to level 6. It is built to be a silver deck and it's not even a very good silver deck. Um, it has the CP to get into gold and honestly with some of the strats that it runs, it's not difficult to get into gold 3. So it always ends in gold 3 when it needs to. It's not good enough to fight for leaderboards but it's still my deck and I love it. So with that said, what you've got to do is you first got to calculate the loot chest value calculator. So even though it's not the end of season and we'll still have one more day of renting out. If we take DEC as the price is now and we put in 4553, it's currently made, it's currently got $13.57, ah, uh, $13.57. D US dollars if DEC. I did empty the account at the end of last season. Uh, the other thing we have to do is we have to add some reward chests. So I said that because it was in gold three, it dropped to silver three. Playing two days, it would have either been silver two or silver one. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be generous about my skill and say it was silver one. So I would have gotten two times the daily quest which would have been four chests in silver one, which is roughly 0.5. So let's just add one extra dollar. So renting out gives you roughly uh, $15. So with $15, that's how much you get for renting out. Uh, there's still one additional day. So We'll probably, if you look at the renting out, I'll probably get about another 550 DEC for the next 24 hours. So we can add that to the list, which would then just be roughly 51, so 15 point there. So we can make it about 16 US dollars in rental money, which is not bad. So Actually, I don't even know if that's bad. So 16 US dollars every 14 days, and then the deck is worth about 6,000 US dollars. Uh, the other thing you need to know is that in my rented deck, if you compare your rentals, a lot of my renters, a lot of my rent, uh, a lot of the time when I do rent out, I don't cancel my renting at the end of season, which there's two sides of it. The one side is if you rent cards out and somebody cancels their rentals on you to increase their prices at the end of season, it's a really shitty feeling. On the other hand, if you're the person renting out your cards, it is advised to do that because it then helps maximize your renting. So if we look here, I'm gonna do delegated no, so you can just see who, oops, delegated yes. So you can see who actually is renting out my cards. But a lot of the times you'll see this is the current market price. So I'm charging nearly half of what the market is. I'm charging eight times less on my Air Elemental, 11 times less on my level six Albatross, six times less on my Almo Combino, uh, six times or 5.61 less on the Lich. 8 times less on the Armorsmith, 14 times less on the Battering Ram, 10 times less on the Beetle Queen. So it's like, it's it's really stupid because I could be getting 10 times more on certain cards and then the ROI is a lot higher on the rental decks. But I typically don't like to do that because um, I think it would be really shitty if somebody was renting my cards and I pulled them back as they were getting excited for the rental days. But at the same time, you could get a lot more money renting out if you do these type of strategies. But at the same time, there are groups going around where they where, where they'll make lists of different renters and they basically have like a banned list of who not to rent from. So maybe you can't rent out your cards in the long term or enough people boycott you. I'm not too sure, but I typically try not to rent out. So you could get, I could, I think I could easily, if I canceled my rentals, I think I could easily double the amount on the last few days of rent, but 
it's not a nice thing to do so i'm not going to do it but that's 16 us dollars that i've earned from renting out right now it could be higher and then now let's look at how the deck does if you play it so as i said the decks the scholar did fairly well with the corner man they rent uh they went 1.13 win rate so they won 205 games they lost 181 longest streak was seven. Oh, you can't see who their top summoners top monsters and the win rates were unfortunately these are the rewards uh, i'm not going to include i'm not going to go over the rewards and how that was broken down i'll do a short video of my rewards this season in a maybe a youtube short or something fun like that but basically all you need to know is that last season it wasn't very good but the season before i think we got like four chaos legion packs which is four dollars or three dollars if you sell it on hive right now so it's a really good return and it's a really good prize so it's a bit unfair to just compare a bad season then as well as the fact because i know that the week before i had a really good season so i'm just going to do chess value so the deck is normally in gold three so if it's in gold three each chest is worth about 0 0.13 and then daily it gets me about 0 0.2823 us dollars and then the end of season is worth about three dollars so if we look at how many days it would have been it would have been 14 days times 0 0.82 which is about 11.5 us dollars for the whole season and then the end of reward is three us dollars so that's 14.5 and then if we go here you can see that from ranked play out of the for the 205 wins they played they earned 1800 dec which is dec's tanked a lot now so it's a little bit unfair but it's roughly 5.5 so what was that 14.5 plus 5.5 20 us dollars give or take so the difference between renting out and playing at the moment is about four us dollars difference so my deck if you rent it out i gain 16 dollars and if i let somebody else play it i'll get or the deck earns about 20 us dollars a season So please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. And if you're a new player, please use the promo code and I will happily send you the 0.5 US dollars back to you. It just lets me know that people are watching and using the promo and I'm helping new players join the community. Also, if you find me on the Discord, just pop me a message. I'll happily delegate any of the new players some power.